Welcome back to Real House DIY. Today we're gonna to take a look at refurbishing these 50 year old baseboard radiators. I've refurbished all the baseboard radiators in my house except two. Typically it's when I'm repainting a room so it makes sense to, to take these off and get these fixed a little better on the wall, get them painted so it's nice new bright paint just like the wall. I'm working on a mudroom project so these tiles are gonna get redone. So I figure now is a good time to take these off, clean them, paint them, clean out the, the fins on the, on the radiator, and secure these against the wall again. What I like to do since these panels get really dirty on the inside, I'm gonna take these all off. I'm gonna take the two end caps off, this one and this one, so I can clean them and paint them. This one here will stay in place, but I'll clean it and paint it in place and then secure that to the wall. First, these end caps have a tab on the bottom that folds over to hold this piece in place. And bend that down just a little bit. That piece will come off just like that. And the other one. Next, this piece is held on the top and bottom. This one is in two places. Just push it up, and then you can fold it down. You can see it was held in place right here and here. And finally, this last piece will just tilt forward and come up. And you can see that's really full of dust, so it'll be good to clean that. And then here you have your pipe with all the radiating fins. That'll all get cleaned out with the vacuum. I'll get a wet rag to clean out the back. What they used to do is use nails to hold these to the wall. Of course, over the years, those are going to loosen. What I like to do is take these out and replace them with screws. The other option, you could leave these in place and then drill another hole through the metal and just add additional screws and if the, if the nails are difficult to take out. In any spots like this where the fins have been damaged, we can, we can bend those back into place. Okay, I'll go get the vacuum, I'll get this all cleaned up. Now get everything cleaned up. Found I've got a sharp nail head sticking up here, so I'm going to get that nailed in. And I'll get these fins straightened out. Next, let's remove these nails or replace them with some screws.
I like to use these washer head type type screws. I'm going to paint these two coats of my favorite primer sealer. White, it's a bullseye 123 primer. And finish two coats of paint on these, nice and bright white, dry, and go get these reinstalled. There you go, just for the cost of paint and a couple hours work, you have brand new, bright white, clean baseboard radiators.